Hello, hello. Today I'm going to go over everything I use to do my nails. Well, my go-to things to use when doing my nails as a self-taught nail artist. I'm going to keep it to the basics, what I use for every single set. And then towards the end of the video, I'll also add in some like bonus stuff that I don't always use, but they are my go-to and I strongly, strongly, strongly feel like you need it in your life as well. Starting off with nail files, um, I prefer to hand file my everything shaping. I hardly ever, well, actually I never use a e-file to actually shape my nails. So I prefer 100 over 180 or 80 over 100. The lower the number, the rougher the file is and i like it more rough just because it sends more i mean it files more down um so yeah uh this is a the number nail file i prefer next up we have our dehydrator and our primer um you're always going to want to use both a dehydrator and a primer when doing your nails this is what you put down before you actually lay your acrylic um these most of this stuff is going to be linked on my amazon storefront if it's not linked on my storefront i'll mention it in the description below where i actually got it from but yeah these are on my amazon storefront this basically just dehydrates the nail you don't want any oil you don't want it to be wet or anything like that and then um uh, this i usually apply two coats of this when doing my nails because this is like the it's the primer it's what keeps it together it's what helps prevent lifting and stuff like that so these are my go-to's this is actually the first one this first pair because they come together this is the first one i've ever bought and i've had it for almost like two years now and look how much is still in there this one i actually spilled but there's still a lot in there you're probably also wondering like what nail tips i use and what nail glue however i don't use nail tips or nail glue i use nail forms to get the length that i want i do have nail tips and nail glue on my amazon storefront if you do want to check that out because i did use that when i first started out but i don't ever use it anymore so these are the nail forms that I have on my storefront. I like these more so for um, stiletto nails, but I like to pair this. I have another, I have a few different ones. So this one is more, like I said, for stiletto, but I like to um, connect this one with a school. Let me go find it. Let me go find it. Here she is. I like to put these two together and just tape them on each other. But either way, I I use both of them. I don't think one is better than the other they pretty much work the same for me so as for nail forms these are what i use now for acrylic and monomer um i like to pour my acrylic oh it's a little dirty i like to pour my monomer sorry i like to pour my monomer into here you can get it from amazon or you can also get it from like hobby lobby michael's some sort of store like that so this is where i actually pour my monomer into and then so i use oh oh i use this little like storage thing so that it can like i can pour it in there easily i know it says acetone um i just bought the one with the wrong label but this is actually my monomer so for monomer i use mia secrets the most this is what i use the most i literally barely have any left and this is also what i started out with um but i also in case you ever wanted to try it out um i also recently bought young nails and i haven't used much of it but i do like it i it's hard to compare the two um because i use a bunch of different types of acrylics and like different things go differently with each other but as far as what i use the most this is the monomer i use the most and yes i get it from amazon for acrylic powder um i started off using just these two and then i would mix in i actually just posted a video on how i make my own acrylic powders if you want to check that out but um or not acrylic powders but acrylic colored acrylic these are my go-tos however and i bought both from amazon however i also bought 
C and D's clear just to like thinking that it would be a lot better than the Mia Secrets. I don't really feel like there's much of a difference, but um, I bought a whole bunch of it anyway. So if you ever, if you're skeptical about C and D, um, I think it's a good brand. So if you want to try that out, I did get this from a um, nail supply store. So I don't know if they have this on Amazon. Um, I went ahead and found some extra acrylic powder brands that I've used. So the I've tried Model 1s. It was actually sent to me. I haven't tried it in a while, so I can't remember how much I like or disliked it. I don't remember like hating it, but um, I can't remember how good it is. Um, here's another brand, iGel Beauty. Love this brand. Very affordable. It is a little wishy-washy, but it's... It's just really affordable, which is why I love them. Um, Neo Beauty, this was actually sent to me, but I do really like this acrylic. You just have to find the right consistency and like the right monomer to um, acrylic ratio, and you'll be golden. And then here's another one, An Acrylics. She also sent me her acrylics, and I love her acrylics. Um, so much that I ended up buying some of my own. So yeah, those are some of the other brands that I use that aren't on Amazon. Now on to acrylic brushes. Mine are really like dirty and messed up, but this is the first brand, not the first brand. This is the second brand I've tried. The first brand I tried was Model Ones and I think I got like a really, I don't know, the brush I got wasn't that great. So it only lasted me like one set. But I got these um, after that, and I love these. It comes in a pack of two. Got it from Amazon. I have it on my Amazon storefront. Um, I I love these because, and I, I be, I've had <laughs> I've had these for two years now, and they're still going strong. Like they they clean easily, they apply easily. Sometimes acrylic will get stuck in it, but like I said, it's easy to clean. Um, and then I also bought this one. I do like this one, however, I bought this for the same price that I bought the two of these. So this one's just a little more pricey. You can see, look how dirty she is. This is the Pana one, and then this is the Butte Galleria. I really need to clean these. But um, as far as, I would say this one creates less air bubbles. These, you can see, have like some gaps, sort of. So they, I think that's why they create more air bubbles. But other than that, these are the only acrylic brushes that I use. Is that polish on me? This is 100% optional, but I did buy these monomer drops recently and they are wishy-washy. I only use it if I, I do have a separate video on this, um, and this is on my Amazon storefront, but I only use the, these, this, this, these, if I'm going to use a colored acrylic, because if you use these with, um, clear or transparent acrylic, it does kind of tamper with the color of it 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 kind of gives it like this brown tint but it does help minimize the strong monomer smell on to polishes this is my favorite um top coat base coat um uh, matte top coat brand they did change the uh the what is it called they changed the the like the bottle the packaging so they don't really look like this anymore but i do have it on my amazon storefront um I will say, so the matte top coat is like a thinner type of top coat, and then the regular top coat is slightly on the thicker side, which is why I, I love the two. So if anything, like if you feel like this is too thin, I put a layer of this first and then place the top coat, uh, the matte top coat over it. I hardly ever use base coat, so it's kind of just like I just have it, but I literally have bought this so many times. As for colored polish, I'm not very picky with um, the brands that I buy. These are all from Amazon. I like all of them. Why is there polish everywhere? Oh my gosh, I don't know where it's at. Anyway, um, I love them all equally. I don't have any issues with them. I have some of them on my Amazon storefront. But yeah, these are the like 
cheaper, more affordable brands that I use. I actually don't have any high-end polish, so this is pretty much all I use. And on to nail art, this is the, I bought this in a pack of three. This is like the little palette that I use to put on my, you can see like the lints and furs on there, whoops. Um, but this is what I use to place down the polish um, if I want to do nail art. I bought this on my Amazon storefront. I bought one pack of three. I already said that. I don't know why I said that again. And then this is my holy grail nail art brush from Amazon. Um, I do have it on my Amazon storefront. I have this one. It came with, it came in a pack of like, I don't even remember because this is the only one I use. But they do have a Beatles version of it. And they're, it's pretty similar. Comes with like the same amount of stuff. This one just looks a little cleaner because I, I haven't really touched this one. But I've been using this one for literally the whole two years that I've been doing nail art. And this is how I achieved these bad boys. This is how I achieved these bad boys. Now, I will, I forgot to say, um, as far as like the lining, the, the lining gel that I use, I use both Beetles Black, like I buy this on its own. And then I use um, this gel polish. I don't even know. Oh, here's a brand. Um, white, but, um, I also have, that's for my lining and whatnot, but I also have another lining. I need to find her. Uh-oh, where'd she go? Here she is. Um, this is another polish, or this is a liner gel, and it's super black, way, way more pigmented than this one. Now, I used both for this set. And you have to be very, this is from Nails by Dev. I'll, I'll link it down below. But um, this one is, you have to make sure you cure it for longer or else it will smudge. Um, and your lines will appear a little thicker than if you use this to do your to do your lining. So just, those are the two like main differences. So if you want a really bold outline, use this one. Um, and also if you do use this one, try to keep the brush that you use separate, like your lining brush separate because it's so pigmented that you don't want to mix it in with any of your other color. You're going to want to always have cuticle oil. I don't have a preference. I just like this one because it is um, strawberry scented, but I have so many different cuticle oils. This one's on my Amazon storefront, but you can literally buy whatever you want. Pretty much on almost anything works, but yeah, don't forget to have your cuticle oil. For my 3D nail art and all the other crazy 3D, 3D nail arts, um, you can use acrylic. However, I prefer this um, gel carves pattern or carve patterns gel. Um, it's like 3D or sometimes they call it 4D putty. This is my holy grail. I use, I, I have this linked in my Amazon storefront. I will link a, link a cheaper um, option as well. But basically, the reason why I prefer this over acrylic is because... Um, there's no smell. Let me let me open this up. There's no smell and um, you have all the time in the world to work with it and then you just cure it when you're you're done messing around with it and then that's when it hardens and that's when it sets. So yeah, this is really sometimes it's a little more time consuming just because you're over there playing with it. But yeah, so that's my my go to for 3D nail art and then I also have this linked on my Amazon storefront, um, I really, you just want the silicone mold or the silicone um, thing <laughs> to help like, oh, wrong hand, to help like mold everything. And I literally, it came in, in a pack of like five different sizes. And this is really the only one that I use. And then when you do use this, you're also going to want to use some rubbing alcohol. Oh, this one's all messed up. I actually just got this from Walmart. Um, but yeah, you're just going to want some rubbing alcohol to kind of keep this from sticking to the molder or the, the 3D gels. But yeah, 3D art, this is what I use. Totally forgot to talk about this blue paper towel. So, um, I use two different paper towels. This is the one, this is like the, um, what is that called? Like the, the car, like the super thick 
It's usually in the car section at Walmart, but the, like the super thick um, paper towels or whatever. Um, they, this is what I use to like wipe. Whoop. This is what I use to wipe my brush um, whenever I'm working with the monomer. Just because it's a little thicker. And then I also use this one sometimes. I feel like um, this one's just not as thick. But if I want to do swatches, I want it to show up better. Um, so I use the, the white ones. But yeah, I use this the most though. We're not going to talk about how horrible she looks. But this is a UV lamp that I use. I look at that. She's a mess. She's been through it. She's been through it. But um, I got it from Amazon, super affordable, and she's lasted me the whole two years that I've been doing nails. And so, yeah, she, this is my bigger one that I like to use. And then I do have a smaller version. Um, these, they look like this. I have a bunch of these on my shop moo but i like to use these for like if i'm doing stuff like this and then i can just stick my um nail nail in on my desk um and do like a fast cure and not have to like cure everything i don't know this one's just like a for, more of a portable one but yeah those are the two that i uh uv lamps that i use Another thing you're going to want to have is some buffing blocks. Um, I've gotten, I buy these in bulk from Amazon. They last forever. Um, the only time I use them is like after I'm done filing my nails, I use the this right before I go into doing my nail art or nail, the polish on my nails. And then to use, uh, I mean, to brush away all of the dust and stuff, I use this little uni brush and it's actually, this is on my shop moo, but yeah, I use this for, um, both my nails and I have one for my desk to like dust everything off my desk as well. And then I also have one, I don't think I have it on my desk right now, but I also have one of these like, um, and it's from e.l.f. and it's actually a makeup brush. So literally you can just use, oh, I found her. I found her. Here's the e.l.f. one that I have also used to just, just for dusting purposes. Now for nail removal, I also have a separate video for that, but that's where my, um, I use this nail drill. Um, this one was only like 20 bucks from Amazon. I have it on my Amazon storefront. Um, I also use this bit, oh, can you even see it? I use this bit to like drill um, holes in my nails in case I wanna do, you know, charms and stuff like that. But this is the nail drill I use. I only use it for, like I said, nail removal um, to try to get the bulk off of my nails before I soak them. And then I also bought these, this, is, this came separate. Um, ugh, let me open it. These are different drill bit heads or whatever. Um, I love this one for like, if I have dead skin, this one, I usually have a lot of dead skin on this one. If I have dead skin and I want to like clear off that cuticle area, I'll use this one. But these are the ones that I use for removing. Oh, these are the ones that I use for removing the bulk off of my nail before I actually soak it off. And then, which brings me into... You're gonna want some. You're gonna want to have some 100% acetone. It doesn't matter the brand as long as as it's 100% acetone. Um, I usually just get this from Walmart because it's like a dollar. I think I don't know, but I usually just get this from Walmart. Um, I just buy whatever's cheapest. Um, what else am I missing? Oh, I also have these um this isn't like you don't have to have these but these little like nail swatch sticks got them from amazon and you can basically just swatch all your different colors on it so you can have like a visual you know of what each color actually looks like on a nail this little buddy is a little dirty i don't know if i actually link this one on my amazon storefront i have to check because you have to just be very careful with this. Um, this is how I soak my nails, or obviously I clip them off and then soak them because um, you can put the hot water in here and then you can put the acetone in here and it just, it, it trust me, it works a lot faster. However, you have to be careful because this one, um, I bought it twice and the first time there was actually a crack in it and then the second time, 
there was a crack in because it comes with two there was a crack in the pink one and i didn't realize it till it was too late but i still love to use these for some reason they just they were cracked when i bought them so as long as you catch it soon enough you'll be able to exchange or return it but yeah this is what i use to soak off my nail and yeah that's pretty much it for my go-to must-haves can't live without to do my nails as a self-taught nail artist um i hope this kind of helps you figure out what you should buy what you need what to start out with um but yeah that's that's pretty much it bye